Wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Red D. Rose Report. A WWE revealed a sneak peek at 2014 Hall of Fame rings. It's worth noting that on the inside of Scott Hall's ring is engraved with his real name, not Razor. And all of the Hall of Famers have their names engraved in the ring on the inside except for Ultimate Warrior. His ring is engraved with his mask symbol in there. Now the Ultimate Warrior's name and trademark phrase, always believe there too. Uh, Slam Wrestling has a new article up looking at the WWE Hall of Famers Howard Finkel's 34 uh, year career with the company. The Fink commented for his love of wrestling. He said, wrestling is my life. I bleed WWE. I wear WWE. And if you haven't seen him lately, uh, when you do see him, you'll swear up and down he must have ate WWE. Regarding finishes for the WrestleMania 30 card, it said that the top matches the finishings uh, are booked and secured done and it should be just a few days and word is that the finish for the Vicky Guerrero Diva Championship Invitational has not been decided yet but AJ Lee retaining it uh, has been pitched around with the idea that it's going to be a such a face heavy card of winners that they need to uh, have a surprise heel win see how that goes I'm kind of surprised since AJ Lee and uh, CM Punk are like this, they don't kind of hold it against her for not, you know, letting out a little bit more on what she knows, if she knows anything. Anyway, we noted before that there's uh, been some criticism over how Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker feud has been booked this year, and it said that Taker's not the guy to blame on this, is not the saying Lesnar is the is the one to blame either. Is apparently Taker has more creative control over his WrestleMania feuds in the previous years compared to this year. And it's looking at a stream, now remember, I always say the Raw and the SmackDown before WrestleMania, whoever normally wins on that show, like Taker got decimated the other day, he wins at WrestleMania. Whoever loses on that show usually wins on the next, you know, on the pay-per-view. Not all the time, a lot of the time. WWE is looking at streaming their international, rather, yeah, international live events from uh, the tours they do on WWE Network in the future. So they're going to be giving them cameraman's hell. They're, they're not going to get any rest. All right, rumors of AJ Lee and CM Punk being engaged started after a fan uh, talked to AJ at the uh, Tampa airport on March 29th on the way to Washington, D.C. from uh, for Raw. She mentioned that this was the last time she would be flying out of Tampa because she was moving and now engaged and she showed off her ring. Well, the fan took the photo of them together to prove that uh, to people that you know she actually really saw them. Rumors uh, were then uh, confirmed by AJ uh, backstage at Raw on Monday. I'm so whelmed. Uh, there's still no official word yet on uh, who's going to be inducting Scott Hall into the Hall of Fame this year. It's believed the Paul Bear's son will be inducting him, but uh, I'm not sure why. Carlos Colon will be uh, conducted by Carlito and Eddie Colon, or Diego, plus uh, nephew Orlando Colon, uh, Fernando. Diamond Dallas Page will be inducted by Jake Roberts. Uh, Trish Stratus will be inducted by Lita. Linda McMahon will induct the Ultimate Warrior, and Hogan is expected to induct, induct Mr. T. <clears throat> I still say Sting is going to be playing into this somehow. Maybe Linda will introduce Sting, and then Sting will introduce old uh, Warrior. I don't know. Anyway, it's been known uh, that Randy Orton, was, you know, he had got a divorce from his wife Samantha a while back, but Orton. Uh, this now publicly uh, acknowledged that uh, he has a brand new woman on his Twitter last night. And Orton posted a happy birthday to me message with a photo of he and his new girlfriend. I'm again whelmed. WWE is planning on airing a WrestleMania 31 commercial during Sunday's pay-per-view in New Orleans. And the announcement for WrestleMania 32 in 2016 is scheduled to take place uh, this fall. And you know what the... Uh, uh, Tremendous money and stuff they make off of WrestleManias. I can't believe they haven't had a WrestleMania Part Two. In other words, six months from now, have another WrestleMania. Better keep my mouth shut. They'll hear me and then uh, go do it. 
Hey, the first episode of WrestleMania today will air on the WWE Network today about um, from 6 till 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, this is going to be hosted by Josh, Mat Josh Matthews, uh, Booker T, Alex Riley. Today's episode is going to be featuring an interview with Batista. The rest of the show will be previews from WrestleMania and give a look at WrestleMania Week in New Orleans. And as noted, Hulk Hogan spoke with RedEyeChicago.com and uh, to promote WrestleMania 30, Hogan gave his predictions. It's kind of interesting. Wait till I get towards the end here. Hogan's, uh, his predictions for WrestleMania are Bray Wyatt versus John Cena. He thinks John Cena will uh, defeat Bray Wyatt without a doubt. Daniel Bryan versus Triple H, he said it's going to be tough, but Daniel Bryan will one-up Triple H and move on to the Triple Threat. Well, anyway, the Triple Threat is Bryan, then uh, Batista and Orton all taking on each other. He thinks Daniel Bryan will walk out New Orleans with a uh, WWE Championship, and yes, movement will take over the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, he says Undertaker will defeat the Beast and go on to 22-0. streak will continue. This is what I thought was interesting. Andre the Giant Battle Royal. So right now, the Big Show or Big E Langston have a good chance of winning it. But what if something crazy happens? Like Sting or the Warrior shows up. He says anything could happen. I think Hogan will show up. All right. The TNA Live, I hate seeing stuff like this. But anyway, the TNA Live event March uh, 28th. Lincoln, Nebraska, which is a pretty good sized town, drew 400 fans. Those in attendance said that there were uh, two local indies uh, that uh, ran in that city that night that even drew larger crowds. Live event on March 29th, Sioux City, uh, Iowa, drew about 1,000. I don't know whether they have bad advertising for those shows or just, I don't know. They're great shows. Uh, we noted before that. Um, WWE has contacted uh, several huge name stars from the past to do some cameo appearances 30, at 30. And uh, one of the stars is The Rock. And WWE reportedly contacted others uh, such as you know, Ric Flair, uh, Austin, and Michaels, and Piper, and even Jim Ross in regards to playing a uh, role this weekend. <coughs> and they ought to get Ross back. Uh, the impression is that The Rock will be on the show in some form of a cameo, but uh, whether it's going to be live or taped is no, most likely to be taped. People uh, say The Rock would be on the show in some form. Uh, plus, maybe get a little push on his Hercules movie coming out. Also, WWE pitches some ideas to Austin about appearing on the show. Uh, so, uh, with him dedicating uh, or deciding to make the trip to New Orleans, that could mean an uh, indication that he accepted one of those ideas of what? I don't know. What? Remember that chant? Don't hear it no more. Uh, Three-time WCW United States Champion Lance Storm, 45 years old, former WC, uh, WWE developmental talent. Ryan Mitchell, 28, on this day uh, two years ago, Wrestling World lost Hall of Famer Chief Jay Strongbow at the age of 83. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.